Adrian Prezenko, I, I was informed by uh, Lyle Beaton, who we interviewed earlier, that if we get 90,000 tonight, it'll be only the fourth city that rugby league's ever attracted 90,000 crowd. But then tomorrow, we've got perhaps a bit more history with uh, the meeting of the, the club chairman. Um, what do you think is more significant of the two events? I think which one's going to be fiery is the question <laughs> that needs to be asked. I think it's going to be a fairly brutal battle out there on the MCG today, but uh, could get a little bit testy in that meeting room as well. I know that there are a couple of disaffected uh, NRL clubs and NRL power brokers, so it'll be interesting to see what goes down. And I suppose Origin... Um, you know, you did a story this morning about Google getting involved in the negotiations for the TV rights. Some of the comments from David Smith earlier in the week have been in, um, interpreted as being that, that Origin's staying in midweek. Should we read that much into them? Do you think that we will have standalone Origins when the new TV deal is up? And indeed, will it be on TV or will we watch it on the internet? I think eventually we'll probably be watching uh, Rugby League on the internet as we will with most sports. Whether that happens in this right deal that's about to be negotiated or the next one remains to be seen. But I think that's certainly something that will happen down the track. Whether we go uh, standalone, that will be one for Shane Richardson. Whether or not that happens, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And uh, the people at home, I suppose, are curious what the atmosphere is like here, what the weather's like, what the vibe around town is. So, if you paint a little bit, of, you're a wordsmith. Paint a bit of a picture <laughs> for them and give us a tip. Well, I, I went in Rome. You know, I decided I'd get a tram in, so I've come in. You know, the conventional method, so to speak. I didn't want to get a taxi in. Um, I got a very early flight up this morning, so it was about 7 a.m. and I could see a lot of people with their blue and uh, blue paraphernalia and a few Queensland guys as well coming in from Sydney. So I'm not sure if we're going to be knocking, uh, you know, a hamstring injury from some Geelong midfielder off the back page, but um, I think you know people are starting to get into the spirit of things over here. And a tip. Queensland by four, it's going to be another close, probably Dow game. I just think if there's a little bit of room to move, that'll probably suit Queensland more if a bit of football actually breaks out. So Queensland in a close one. Thanks, Adrian.